مثلا Hello. How is everybody? <clears throat> Whoever's still awake? I can't believe that people are still awake. Now our Vera is in the Netherlands. Bless her. It's 6 a.m. there for her. It's 5 a.m. in the UK for me. I must be mad. I must be crazy. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing the fire signs um now okay in this video this is for leo sagittarius and aries okay um so going over some bits and pieces that are happening i just wanted to give you an update on greg um greg hello fira um greg bless him uh was this morning quite poorly um he that's why i did a, a, a shout out again for some healing so thank you so much for everybody who's given healing and love sending all that out uh, really appreciate that really do and um you know thank you to sarah who um went to the hospital and gave greg um reflexology and reiki and um, that really did make a difference so he says he is on the on the up he is his health is getting better um but he had a bad um um a bad Kind of abdominal pains he had and his breathing was was very very hard um he's finding it difficult to breathe so that is what was going on with him that's why i did the the shout out really so thank you to everybody um hello cordette hello it's lovely to see you as well so yeah it was um it was pretty uh pretty distressing to hear you know when he says he can't and he can't sleep you know um that's the trouble with hospitals they're doing their job they're, but they're coming in all the time does that make sense um so just as he's about to drift off to sleep uh there's somebody else needs to come and do something else you know and he's just not not getting any so he's finding that tricky okay so um you know you know so the sooner he can get home the sooner he can really start to rest i think um but darling these astrology readings are not the same without you i miss you so if you're watching this um you know we're we're, we're all missing you it's it's uh it's better with both of us here yeah Oh, the minute I talk about Greg, the video pauses for a second. Wow. Yeah, I think he is on the mend, Claudette. I think he is, um, you know, day by day. I think he just has, you know, just had a bad day yesterday. But he did say that he's getting up and up and a walk about when he can. Although the, um, the he's got kind of <clears throat> the Gestapo. Did you know that there's a buzzer in his bed? Every time he, he tries to sit up and he shifts his bum off the um, the bed to actually move up the bed, um, this buzzer goes off and along comes the nurses. It's like, you mustn't get out of bed. He said, I wasn't, I was just sitting up. It's like they're really like on it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> you can't even get out of bed um, or sit up without the buzzer going off. But they did say he's, he's wired up to so many different things um, and it isn't isn't good for him to get up on his own. He's got kind of monitors on his chest. Um, he's got kind of constant on, um, you know, oxygen levels on his finger. You know, he's got the, the drip as well. And he's also got, you know, the um, painkillers as well going through. Yeah. I feel for him, it's not nice. It's not nice um, being in hospital, and um, I know he's not. He he hates it. I know he does, but um, we're just hoping he get better soon. I love you, darling. Um, okay, so we're going to do the fire signs. Okay, first of all, I just need to do a little bit of a shout out for lovely my lovely Greg. So if you wanted to support Greg. Um, of your 5D. If you wanted to support him um, and you felt that you could, um, 
you could become a Patreon um, um, to support him from as little as $1.11 a month. Um, it would mean an awful lot um, or any one-off donations would be gratefully received. Um, he works really hard. That's partly why I think he's um, in hospital because he just works so hard. Um, so if you wanted to support Greg, um, it's uh, patreon.com and it's uh, forward slash in 5D, okay, if you wanted to support him. Um, he does a t-shirt giveaway once a month for Patreon members. Um, the next t-shirt giveaway is if he's well enough, okay, so um, if he's well enough is December the 12th at 12, 12 p.m. Eastern time. So it all depends on, on his health. If anybody has ordered any t-shirts or is thinking of ordering t-shirts, you can order them and he will get them out as soon as he can. Okay, um, so I know that that is something that he um, he takes pride on, you know, that, you know, he, he will get them out um, that day as soon as they're they're ordered. But obviously he can't at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, so if anybody wants to support uh, Greg with the T-shirt or with um, Patreon, it will be gratefully received. Also, we've got in 5D Club. Um, in 5 dclub <clears throat> This is a, um, a site for people of like minds to come together and chat. It can be a date, used as a dating site, but it can be used as a friendship site, uh, connections with um, people of like minds. You know, so anybody connected to in 5 d you know that these people are going to be very open. Um, they're going to be people who are spiritual. So um, it's much better, I think, connecting with people um, in the In5D club. Um, so, yeah, so if anybody wants to join in, you can just literally um, design a page um, like you do Facebook, um, set a profile up um, and, you know, and then, you know, you can even have an avatar and go into kind of this um, this room like a bar or something and your avatar can go and talk to other people. So it's got your face on it and uh, you can go and interact with other people in the bar. It's really quite cool. Uh, there's lots of games, the old fashioned games like battleships. I love battleships and and checkers and chess and all sorts. So there's loads of different different stuff going on there. Um, so there is also a group um, called Twin Flame. You can start your own groups up there and chats. Um, so. Um, for myself, I've got um, just for the next few days, I've got the sale still on half price uh, for some of the classes that I'm doing um, half price. And um, there's also £10, which is $12 off um, some of the readings that, you know, the majority of the other readings I've uh, got going on. OK, so uh, you can also order gift vouchers for Christmas. Um, the gift vouchers, they are open, so your um, person who is, um, you know, receiving the gift voucher can choose whether they want mindfulness, uh, cosmic ordering, uh, whether they want psychic development, uh, psychic counselling, love life reading, car uh, career re life path reading, or just normal reading. Um, so you can actually just choose whatever you want. Um, the things, the events that are coming up for you every Monday, there is a psychic development group. So you can join in with that. Um, it's five pounds or six dollars. All the times and everything are down in the comments. Um, but it does work out at 7.30 p.m. Uh, UK, which is 2.30 p.m. Eastern. OK, um, Saturday, the 5th of December, which I think for a lot of people it will be today. Um, that would be Karen MacDonald. A lovely Karen MacDonald, she is um, a clan mother and she's also connected to um, helping the children that are being rescued um, from the, um, the tunnels. Um, and I don't want to say too much on here, but these children have been through absolute hell, the worst hell that you can think of. Um, so she is helping these. She works alongside um, Patty uh, Brassard um, 
and um, but um, but um, she, Karen is um, she uses the Genius machine. Um, it's a biofeedback machine, and this biofeedback it basically does a reading on your voice and the a photo of you, and it tells you things about your body, tells you things about you know what your body is lacking in, uh, what you need um, in order to make that to make you healthy again. Um, it, it goes to back to the emotional issue a lot of the time uh, because any dis disorder in our body is usually stems from something that we're not doing or something um, that we're holding on to, some emotional pain somewhere. Um, so this all comes up with this by feedback and she's going to be doing a workshop on this, um, talking everybody through how this machine works um, and what it's used for. You can also have question and answers uh, with her regarding what's going on as well, um, you know, with the rescuing, okay? Uh, she can tell you as much as she is allowed to. Um, she has a lot of information about so many different subjects. Um, so it's well worth uh, joining in. That will be um, the, 5th of, uh, the 5th of December, 2020. And that will be at um, 2 p.m. And that is... Um, 2 p.m. That is UK time, which works out at 9 a.m. Eastern and 6 a.m. Pacific time. Ten pounds or six, uh, sorry, ten pounds or twelve dollars. If you can't um, afford it, um, she works on donations, so she doesn't charge for the treatment. Okay, so um, you can um, barter with Karen if you did want a treatment. Um, you can, um, one, there was a little old lady who she, she knitted a headscarf uh, for Karen and um, that was all she had and that was good for Karen. She, she works on um, e-donation, okay, so um, there's no need to say that she, you can't afford it because you can, okay. So um, the other thing is once she's got all of the feed, all the, of the, um, the information she then puts out this um, it's a sound wave and this sound wave if you put it um, if you put a glass of water um, in front of the headphones as it's coming through um, the, the uh, computer um, it then creates this water elixir it's like um, um, it's just normal water and that water has the vibrational energy that is going to heal you so if you believe in sound therapy this is basically how it is worked um, on that. So it's very futuristic. Yes, a lot of people will think, oh, I don't know if I believe in that. Um, but Greg had um, sugar levels um, of 50 and it's supposed to be the very, very minimum is supposed to be 70. So it was really bad um, and uh, had this machine um, do its thing. And um, he basically had um, the next level the next day was 84 okay so it does work it really does work hi Janice oh, I will send your love to Greg thank you Claudette thank you says, my heart goes out to you both not knowing about the problem in his gut also worked against him now he knows what it is he can work with it and throw out the stuff that gets it inflamed yes that's true Vera that's true um 11th of um 12 Sagittarius rising Pisces moon here ah, okay well we've already done Pisces and we're going to do Libra in the next video we're doing Sagittarius in this this one we are busy but it's all good stuff we really enjoy it um, so the Sunday, the 6th of December is Elaine Thorpe. She's a trance medium, absolutely amazing trance medium, best I've seen. OK, and um, I've seen a lot of mediums work. So, yeah, very, very good medium. And um, she is um, when she goes into trance, her jo her guide comes through Jonathan Hunter. Now, she's got a very gentle female voice. Uh, when um, she goes into trance, you have this clear, definite uh, male voice. OK. Um, and this is a Victorian gentleman, Jonathan Hunter. OK, and he is talking directly from the spirit world. So you can um, talk to him. 
ask about your loved ones. Um, he usually gets a direct link to them. Um, so it, yeah, it's just amazing, amazing evening. Um, I will I advise it for everybody uh, to come along to that one. It's five pounds or six dollars. OK, and all the details on how you join and where the Zoom codes are and everything are down below in the comments. Um, Saturday, the 12th of December is my Tarot Level 2 workshop. Um, so it's £10 or $12. And um, Saturday, the 19th of December at uh, 10 a.m. start, which is 3 p.m. UK. So 10 a.m. Eastern, which is 3 p.m. UK start and that is patty brassard questions and answers um, so saturday the 19th of december so patty works with karen and um patty um is somebody she has two pineal glands two and they come up on an mri scan okay so two pineal glands um now this this lady um was she she was she's an advisor to trump she's got connections with q and she's got connections with the children that are being rescued and all of the military action that is going on there um, so you can ask questions about that and she'll tell you as much as she possibly can um, now patty is um you know she's a mindful of information okay so Literally, I've had hours and hours and hours of talking to both Patty and and Karen now, and it blows me away every time. Now, there are people out there who will think that some of what she's saying is kind of farcical. And um, that's up to you. That is entirely up to you. The information will be going out there it is entirely up to you how you take that information and how it feels to you. Go with how it feels. OK. Um, but sometimes the things that we are told now, um, sorry, things that we were told in the past that we now know now, we would have thought farcical back then. OK, so I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so have an open mind about it. So anyway, we're going to do the astrology now. I start off with Leo. Um, and this is for um, all the Leos out there. So I know Sharon Poe is a Leo. And... Um, um, who else? And then we've got Brittany, um, Greg's daughter, Brittany. Um, so hi, Brittany. Um, I'm hoping, you know, you're, it's, it's, you said that you won't be able to get together for the Christmas um, ornament decorating, which is he's really upset about. Um, but I think you've got a plan B, haven't you? Where, you know, the, um, him and his daughter, they do a con connection. Um, they make ornaments together every year. So it's really sweet they've done it right the way through um even now so it's uh, it's so sweet and traditions are so good aren't they um so anyway my heart goes out to you you're probably worried sick about your dad um as we all are okay so leos let's have a look and see what's going on with you date is the 7th to the 13th of december okay so leo Okay, so starting off this week, Leos, you have two aces. Now, the two aces are beginnings of, you have the beginning of um, new money, new work, um, extra money. You have the ace of swords, which is to do with ideas, inspiration, things that you have kind of, you know, things that pop up into your mind and you think, oh my God, I could make money from that, or I could do this, or I could make that into a little business of mine or you know um so there's lots of lots of ideas like that going off okay um around the beginning of the week um now some of these are going to be a little bit um blocked okay because it feels as if it's like i don't know i don't know how to get past this problem it's like i want to do this and i want to do that but i can't get past that um so i feel that you're going to have to be a little bit um, creative in, you know, getting things 
uh, done and organized but also in a way that um, you can kind of bypass these these problems so you can do it um, I feel it could be just a matter of time of course but it could be that there's lots that you could do in preparation before you actually kick start um, the actual process okay so if this is to do with a new job or this is to do with um, something um, that you uh, want to create do make uh, start career um, you know learn about you know you can you can still do that okay um, but it, it sometimes means doing it in steppy stones kind of um, you know timings um, there's going to be kind of people coming back into your life that you haven't seen uh, for a while so this is this is kind of reuniting um, and I feel that there is a celebration I'm seeing a party a celebration a get-together where people are kind of raising a glass congratulations well done fantastic news um, I know that seems a bit far-fetched at the moment because of the restrictions and everything but I have to tell you what they give me um, sometimes I suppose this could be online okay this online connection um, but I definitely see that you have been familiar with this person know this person very well okay um, I feel that there is somebody around this kind of um, celebration um, who is sulking because they're not getting what they want from a situation it could be that someone else is taking over or someone else is getting you know they're in the limelight and they want to be and uh, they're a bit jealous of that okay so watch out for people who have insecurities around you um, and people that are just making things just damn difficult really um, I feel that what this does is it makes you steer away uh, from this type of person or these feelings it's like oh, I can't be bothered to play this silly game it's like you've outgrown certain people you've outgrown their behaviors it's like you can't see them um, in, in the same way as you did before um, and I feel that you've been treading on eggshells around them um, and it is time to kind of let that go and to move forward now I know I say this a lot of the times uh, but the, it, this is what's happening around us at the moment so please don't be surprised that this is happening it is all to do with it's called the grand awakening with people where more and more people are becoming more awake and there are the people that are still kind of um, in the sleeping energy um, people are uh, disconnecting and not able to see the other side of the situation and the gap is just getting um, um, more and more and more where people are just um, you know getting very annoyed with the other person because both people feel very strongly about what they see or what they feel or what they believe and just as um, just as um, definite as, as they are it's like you're definite that you're right as well so this it's like a clash okay so it is it is you know keep happening and that's in all signs that's not in just um, just Leo's okay once again I'm hearing this uh, walking um, it's kind of like rerouting or taking a step away from where it is that you live or changes to where you live and that sort of thing so um, there, there could be somebody close to you who is talking about that to you or it could be that you are talking to someone else about maybe moving okay um, and that's coming up towards the end of the week um, there is going to be an important meeting happen at the end of the week now this meeting will be linked to um, needing to be perfect or needing to be uh, better than you've ever been you know um, getting things done in a way that you wouldn't normally um, work so hard about okay so it's kind of being um, in that perfection energy and um, you know also it's to do with the meeting so I do feel that that could be an, an interview um, that could be an interview for a job that could be um, going to find out some information okay about um, you know possible work or extra responsibility within um, you know a project okay um, now they are saying that there are there are 
times that you're going to feel as if I'm isolating myself or I have to uh, lock myself away. Now, I know this is quite funny um, because everybody is being locked away and everybody is isolating mostly or they've been told to in some periods. Uh, so this is my isolation card. You can see it's kind of like, um, you know, coming away from the hustle bustle of life and just being um, cocooned inside. Um, so that is going to be one of the issues that could even be that you're being independent at home. We talk about being independent at home. And again, you know, uh, moving, that sort of thing is going to be uh, spoken of. You do get bored easily and you do have to keep busy. So you're constantly thinking of things that you want to do or could do or, you know, because I think the longer that you sit and think about things, the more confused that it gets for you. So um, you're trying very hard to um, keep buoyant and keep um, your mind as active as possible. OK, so that was Leo's. Uh, so now we're going to do Sagittarius. OK, now I have a Sagittarius um, moon, a Sagittarius moon, Pisces, uh, Sagittarius moon and Leo rise, Libra rising. OK, Sagittarius. And um, this card's just come out for Sagittarius people which is the world card, which means that everything's going to turn out better than you thought. Well, whoop de doo that's good. That's what I want. Okay, so Sagittarius, and this will be for the 7th to the 13th of December. Right. Okay, so the beginning of this week, okay, um, beginning of this week, I see um, a feeling here of uh, sulking. Um, okay, it's sulking because there is somebody like a fatherly character, a father or someone in authority who is making everybody feel stressed. Um, this person has been pushing people to be independent, pushing people to um, be come outside of their, um, it's like outside of their comfort zones, um, but the opposite to it, just sort of where you feel as if you are um, wanting to get outside of your comfort zones, but can't. Um, so there's definitely, um, okay, so for some people, there will be a fear of stepping outside. There will be a fear of um, of doing that. Um, and that is because of these restrictions that have gone on too long. There's obviously somebody who's been stuck, OK, um, either indoors or stuck very closely um, to, to be very near to home. OK, so there is a feeling of agitation, OK, around here. OK, so you'll be around that or, you, you know, you'll be going to be. Uh, feeling it yourself. Um, the independence card means that you are going to start to be more independent and not rely so much on this fatherly character or father figure or um, person who um, is is trying to tell you what to do. Um, now onwards and upwards. OK, so as you go on to the middle of this week, um, you are able to go further with a plan. And I feel this is to do with your ambitions. So that's career. Um, that is, um, you know, desires um, where things have gone well already. There's a chance for it to go even better. Like you can't believe how better it's going to be. You know, it's like um, the wishes that you had have kind of, you know, doubled or tripled. OK, and, uh, you know, you're able to see exactly what goes on um, from there. Um, now, um, there is a, a, a feeling of I've got to steer um, my wishes, my desires and my dreams. I've got to steer this um, energy into the correct way. So there could be temptation um, around the corner. It's like uh, you're tempted to go in this direction when you're trying to stay on this direction. OK, um, and I feel that, that you're going to have to be very strict with yourself and strong. 
um, because if you want to go on to a different level of uh, career, of ambition, um, you know, uh, it's like you've got to be more disciplined. You've got to be more sure of yourself. You've got to give it more time. You've got to study. You've got to concentrate. You've got to go to um, meetings and things like that. So I feel that this is all um, about to kind of come about um, in your in your life around the middle of the, the next week. Um, and you're just going to need to be as strong as possible. That's all they keep saying to me, um, you know, and, uh, you know, everything will work out, but you just have to be focused. Now, we've got the self-employment card, but then we've got the feeling of, uh, for a lot of you, um, it could be that you're coming away from being self-employed. OK, because I see that there's endings and beginnings happening and a feeling of either rejection, rejecting this or rejecting that and not able to um, fulfill, um, you know, what it is that you uh, first started. OK, so um, so to do with kind of um, a business idea, I feel that one is going to have to stop while it could be another one then takes over. So it's like, you know, maybe it's a branch of a tree and you're seeing this tree emerge and then it's like this branch that's doing really well. That's flourishing. Great. Um, but this new branch over here is not doing so well. Um, but this one over here is doing really well. So I think it's prioritizing what is working for you and what is not OK to do with money, work and finances. I'm seeing a uh, form filling um, writing down forms, um, you know, discussions about forms, uh, signatures and paperwork. OK, and it seems as if it's all a little bit secret or keeping it to yourself somehow, not telling too many people about what you're doing regarding this form filling. OK, but that's around the end of the week. OK, um, so, yeah, I see a bit of mischievous behaviour around the end of the week as well. It's a bit, bit like it's time to have some fun. It's been far too serious. Um, let's uh, let's go and have a giggle. OK, so, yeah, I think there's going to be a little bit of breaking the rules, maybe. Um, around the end of uh, end of the week for you, Sagittarius. OK, so um, this is now Aries. So I know this is our lovely Vera. Um, it's Vera. And then um, so Claudette, Claudette, thank you for the Leo. That's my pleasure. That's my pleasure. OK, so Aries, I'm going to concentrate on Aries now. OK. Fire sign Aries. So this is the 7th through to the 13th of December. OK. Right. Aries. The beginning of the week. OK, so I would say that the beginning of last week, around the last couple of days, there has been a lot of finalisation, endings, saying goodbye to, drawing the line under, um, completions, uh, starting over, OK, with new beginnings, um, a time to renew things, <clears throat> a time to forward um, plan um, something different or something new. <clears throat> Sorry, saying goodbye to the old um, and saying hello to the new. And um, this this is also time to kind of walk away from anything that is no good for you. Walking away from, um, you know, things that you have once, you know, worried about or stressed about. It's like I'm not stressed anymore. I am absolutely done. OK, that is that is in the past. This is in the now. Um, I'm happy and excited about my future. OK, there does seem to be another meeting coming up here. Now, I know we had the meeting coming up for Sagittarius, but I'm seeing the meeting card come up for you, Aries people. Um, so this will be kind of coming to the end and walking away um, from um, probably um, probably the the past. OK, walking away from someone or something from the past, um, drawing a line under it and saying that is enough. There seems to be a meeting that is actually 
uh, connected to this I've had enough and I'm walking away from. Uh, you're going to feel a lot of um, energy of perfection. Want everything perfect or trying to say that you have always got to be perfect. And you know that life isn't that simple. Life isn't that black and white. OK, um, so sometimes we have to say, um, you know, um, I'm trying to move on, but there are um, other circumstances around. OK, and sometimes I've got to juggle my time, my energy. Sometimes I've got to put up new boundaries around myself and around other people. Maybe other people don't properly understand me. Um, and they need to kind of um, be aware of the fact that maybe I have restrictions and they aren't seeing my restrictions or, you know, there's boundaries up. So it's all to do with kind of what you will and won't put up with anymore. It's all to do with letting go and walking away from things that are no longer needed. OK, we've heard this time and time again throughout the cards throughout the weeks. Um, but this is uh, your time, Aries, to do this. Um, the guillotine is coming down on some things that are no longer needing to be analysed. Um, so I feel that, you know, you are you're doing this so that you can um, feel freer. OK, in your mind. OK, but there will be a meeting coming up. Uh, this meeting would be an appointment um, um, that could be anything from a bank manager, a state agent um, interview for a job. It can be you know, somebody coming to coming to you for an uh, appointment or something like that. OK. Um, I do see that there is um, somebody close to you who wants everything done their way. Now, this person may have a bit of OCD, um, you know, um, so are they a perfectionist too much um, or is this just um, that the universe is asking you to be a bit more particular about how you do things. Um, there are going to be some boundaries set up. The boundaries are essential um, for your sanity, it looks like. So what 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 once was kind of very laid back is actually needing to be a bit more structured in your life because uh, life has changed, as we've seen at the beginning of the week. By the end of the week, um, you have got two main jobs. I'm seeing you doing two main jobs, not just one. Um, and these two main jobs are um, equally important and equally, um, you, you know, uh, time consuming. Um, so if you find you're not working, then this would be um, jobs that you allocate yourself or something that you're having to do. OK, so, um, yeah, it's weighing things. Um, up the pros and the cons to, you know, how this job is completed and what you do uh, for this job and this work. It could be whether or not you ask other people to help you with that job as well. Um, but um, yeah, um, I do feel that you don't want to feel trapped or you don't want to feel as if you've got no choices in life. Uh, so sometimes um, you prefer um, not to have so much responsibility on your shoulders um, you know, um, other people's responsibility, that is, that you tend to work better on your own or for yourself. OK, um, it is better that way. Involving other people in it all um, usually causes clashes of personality uh, because you know how you want it done or you think it should be done and they know or think that they want to do it their way. So it's always a clash of personality. So self-employment is usually better for you Aryans. OK, so that is all the fire signs done. OK. So um, I'm going to come back in a moment and do the air signs. OK, let's catch up with anything that's been said. OK. Um, Marsha, that's your son, is it? OK. And um, Sharon. Hi, Ali. Hi, Sharon. OK. All right, so um, I'm going to come back in a moment. I'm going to take some more painkillers because the pain is building. Um, and um, I'll be back in, in a bit. OK, thanks, Vera. Thanks for, for being here for me in replace of Greg. All right, bye. See you in a bit. 